Hey, did you guys know that I don't know what I'm doing? Cause, uh... I don't know what I'm doing! Um... So, the last video ended really abruptly. I entirely spaced that my friend is coming over, um... Or that my friend was coming over to borrow my car, cause she has to pick up her... Sorry, mic adjustment. Don't know if you can hear that. Probably. Um, but she has to pick up her boyfriend from the airport tomorrow morning, so she came by tonight to borrow my car, um, because her truck is really old, and I guess it's kind of not the easiest thing to drive. I've never driven it. I have- I have it right now in case of emergency, but I've never driven it. Um, I've never driven a stick. I feel like I could figure out how to drive a stick, um, if given the chance. And I guess I am given the chance, it's sitting out in the lot, but I'm too lazy for that, so... And it's like midnight. And I'm not sober. Don't smoke and drive, kids. It's, it's stupid. You feel like you're doing alright, but you're actually lagging by like two and a half seconds. And, um... Yeah, you just... it's not something you get to do. Um... You will kill someone. Don't drink and drive, don't smoke and drive. Uh, don't drive with migraines. Um, don't drive if you feel dizzy. Um, it's amazing, like, how many people will just get behind the wheel no matter what. Uh, I was going in, like, so not the correct direction, by the way. Um, <laughs> so weird. So, you'll notice that the audio is better. Or at least I hope it is. Um, so this is an old gaming headset that I've had lying around for forever. Um, today I actually got a USB port, like a multiple USB port. Sorry, dear. You can sneak up on those guys and ride them, by the way, but um, I don't like riding horses or anything that controls like a horse. Um, so yeah, I've had this gaming headset for a little while. Um, the main reason I forgot that it existed is because it gives me a really bad headache after a while. Um, so I just, like, didn't even consider it as an option, to be perfectly honest with you. And then I found it laying in a bucket, and I was like, you know, I'm putting these on the internet. And not to mention my last episode was like a mumbly disaster. My last episode was not great. Uh, I was mumbling a lot and then I wasn't going in the correct direction. And then Troy scared the crap out of me and it ended super abruptly. Not my best gem. Mm. About a year ago, I was walking along the road here at night when I suddenly saw a building light the sky. When my eyes finally adjusted, I found myself looking at a shimmering object floating overhead. I couldn't look away. Next thing I knew, it was bathed in light. Next thing I knew, I was bathed in light. When I came to, I woke up in bed, covered in sweat. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you just had a really bad trip, dude. What do you think about that? Yeah, sounds like a dream. At first, I thought it was just a bad dream, but the bed I woke up in wasn't my bed. It was a bed full of liquid in an empty room, and when I looked in the corner... There was a glowing device, mm. and when I touched the device, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of familiarity. When I came to, I was here. Oh. What do you think about that? That's um a little too close to home and exactly what happened to Link, so yeah, I can see him being deeply unnerved. Does that story sound familiar, Hellion Champion? Mm. Your story ends here, hero boy. Oh, it's a Yiga clan member. Haha! <laughs> That's kinda neat, actually. That's kinda neat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, very difficult. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I also have like a whole bunch of, um, rupees now. Um, I'll get back to Hatsune and go spend them on. Stuff. Stop. I hate everything. I hate rain. 
It's the stupidest thing. It's not a good it's not a good inclusion in this game. You know what? Fine, I won't get the Korok seed. Screw you. You can't make a game about exploration and then strip away the exploration. That's stupid. Like, I hate rain. I don't know how anybody passed this. Anyways. Some more. Oh, this way. Yeah, that's more what I want. Again, I could turn on my mini map and actually just know what direction it is, but uh, where's the fun in that, hmm? Where's the adventurous spirit? Um... So, yeah, I was supposed to go this way, like, all along. Um, pretty much what I did. I went back to Hotano and I tried to cut through like a freaking idiot. Yeah, that's. It wasn't correct. Alright, the other goat can live. It can live and suffer and know that its loved one died in vain to feed a very hungry, wild, wild boy. Same with that fox. I actually feel kind of bad killing the foxes because I think they're really cute. <laughs> but at the same time, like... I just like the supplies. Whee! I do love shields. <laughs> Am I still going the right way? Holy crap, no. Yeah, see... This is why I wanted to play it with the HUD off, is like... Notice how I'm actually, like, paying attention to the world and I'm, like, trying to follow beaten paths and, like, that's not something I typically do. Um, typically I'm just like, oh, well, it, I have to go directly this direction and therefore I will go in directly this direction. I could just shoot this guy, but I really don't have a whole lot of arrows. <laughs> Oh, this is weird. So, the, um... The audio for the capture is slightly lagged uh, compared to the actual gameplay. Which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, there's a shrine here. Yeah, this is probably about where it is. There's a shrine somewhere in here. Um, right there? Is that it? No, that's not it. Anyway, all these deer are here because uh, the objective of the shrine is that I have to ride one. Yeah, so I can ride these. And this is for you. Because I know how you love deer. And I freaking hate riding these things because they're impossible to ride. But, you know. Um, actually, while I have this thing, I may as well grab that shrine, if I can find it. I'm just not entirely sure where it is. Oh, but it has to be- no, it has to be, um... It has to be an antelope. It has to be, um, one with actual antlers. Um, it can't just be, like, any old deer. That's right. There's, like, a riddle. Um, there's a Rito, and he gives you a riddle, oh. and the answer to the riddle is to capture and ride a deer, um, or an antelope, I suppose, to, uh, the pedestal of the shrine, and then it reveals a hidden shrine. Anyways, I can't take this thing any further, it seems, so I shall let it go. I can't turn those in. Uh, with horses, I can turn them into stable. I can turn them into the stable, and like, <clears throat> it'll like have a place to be and whatnot, and then I can have it forever. But I can't turn those in. They're wild. They run away from me. That's a high nox. That is a high nox. Let's um. Fuck it. Let's kill the high nox. Alright, may as well. Yep. Yeah. 
Rhinoxes are way easier to kill. Right? <laughs> I can actually like do damage. Uh, with the rock guys, you have to hit them in the. Wow, I have like no more. You have to hit them in the gemstone. Uh, he'll actually like cover his eye too. Oh god. Oh god. All right, he killed me. That's neat. We're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> My cat is very upset with me. She does not like it when I use that voice. She just like woke up from her nap like, "Excuse me, you are making a racket." She doesn't like this new hobby of mine. I talk at the air and it confuses her and she's not quite sure. Oh, pfft, that was stupid. Oh, that was almost stupid. Oh god, you're coming at me. You're coming at me a little too hard. Yeah, I'm reluctant to use bomb arrows because they're kind of a rare commodity, but at the same time. Because those amiibo cards give you copious amounts of arrows. Hell. Yep, 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 yep. Oh god. Oh, I was doing so well. Okay, this time for real. This time for real. I got it. I got this. I got this, guys. I got this. I can hear you doubting me. But I got this. Okay. Uh, so this time... Um, start with the bomb arrows. Keep the swallow bow, it does the most damage. Okay. Um, I get one shot at anyways, so I may I may as well just not waste the supplies. Eee. All right, I can only get hit twice. I've got that fairy. It's fine. Everything's fine. Y'all are doubting me still. I can see it. It's fine. Hell. Oh. And then I just blow myself up. That that was. That was. Oh well, it's not Breath of the Wild without blowing yourself up a couple of times. Oh, he has a he has a tree. Tells you otherwise, they're either misguided or selling something. Or something. I like that he catches on, and he actually like covers his eye. Oh god, that's always how it happens. That's always how it happens. Oh, 
I just gotta be more more aware of my surroundings. But it's always what happens. Link just tries to climb. Which is fine. That works- that mechanic works like gold in the rest of the game. I just kind of- I just need to be more aware of my surroundings. It's fine. Everything's fine. I can hear you doubting me still, but we're fine. Boom. Okay, dang damage. I did a little bit. I didn't even get hit once that time. See, I'm good at video games. Uh, that is the nice thing about Hinoxes. They drop a handful of really nice weapons. A handful of really, like, I don't know. Early game decent food, I guess. Uh, you always break a handful of weapons to kill them, though, so... But at the same time, like, this guy had knight's weapons, which is pretty good. That's not half bad at all. So heck yeah, that's, uh, that's what a Hynex boss fight looks like. Um... I'll try and fight any bosses that I just randomly come around like that, like... I know I failed at that stone talus. That's just sort of what happened. Link. You just frickin' surf. Yeah, right direction-ish. Here we are. This looks familiar. Right? Right? This looks familiar, right? Um... Uh, there is... This is actually, like, one of my favorite shrines. Um, and it's a fast travel point, so I'll get it. No, that's not the right one. I'll still do it, though, because it's here. I do need... Ooh, yes, those are gold. Uh, so you cook those alone, and it comes up with some really awesome, awesome, awesome results. Um... What shrine is this? Oh, there might actually be a memory here. Yeah, there might actually be a memory here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Empty abandoned buildings inside of the. or all over the land of Hyrule. I mean, I guess it is just like a land of destruction. Like, it's just doomed to be destroyed every single. like, every single time it rises, it's doomed to burn to ashes. Um. And that's just sort of like part of the deal. But it's still. No, it's it's still it feels alive for a post-apocalyptic world, and that's what I like. Ow. Uh, normally I could burn these, but one, it's raining, and two, yeah, you don't get your freaking boomerang. It's my boomerang. 
My boomerang. Ow, what the hell was that? You, sir, do not like you. Ooh, ooh. Do not like you. Do not like you at all, good sir. But yeah, normally I could burn all this, but A, it's raining, and rain is the worst mechanic in this game. And, um, I just, I used all my bomb arrows. And all my bomb arrows. Pretty sure I know what this one is. No, I don't know what this one is. Wait, what is this one? If it's an apparatus, I'm leaving. this five flames oh it's this one oh, it's this one so here's the thing well, here's here's the thing um, So, the thing with this one, um, all I really need to do here is... Okay, I think that should do the trick. Uh, and then, check this shit out. I still have wood, right? Please tell me out, thank god. I only have one, but that's fine. And... Some flint. Uh, cause I don't have fire arrows. This is this is a long way around fire arrows, for the record. Um, so that's how you make a fire. Um, that is not how you make a fire in real life, but that's how you make a fire in this. Oh, you bastards. You bastards! Is this what's happening right now? Alright, fine. Fuck it, right? This isn't a fucking walkthrough, so I'm just not- Ooh, I'm very glad that I bothered with that. Thank you! Ho ho ho! I like. And that's insignificant and trivial, but I'll take it. Um... Oh, I do like that silver bow, though. Alright, that's all I'm doing in here. Uh, normally you light all those torches, and wow, I could not be bothered to care less. So I have the fast travel point, and I have the treasure. Who cares, right? Um, 
And the nice thing is, I can fast travel to any of the ones that I didn't do and then come back and redo them, so like... So like, you can see... See how it's like kind of orange instead of just blue? That just means that I haven't actually completed the shrine. Um, but I can still fast travel to it, so that's good enough. Um, that being said, though, I have been going in the wrong direction. I think I saw that shrine and then got distracted. Is this even the right pond? God, it's not. Not even remotely close to the right pond. Fine. Everything's fine. These black guys have like a lot. Of life. A lot. Of life. And actually, he could do a lot of damage to me. I realized that right as he lunged. Oh, yikes! That's fine. There's no consequence to dying in this game, so it's not like it matters. Well, I mean, I guess it reloads you at your last save, which could be... I think the most I've had to do is like, yeah, like this, where you have to travel a little bit. I've had a couple of deaths... Uh, that was silly. Uh, I've had a couple of deaths that actually really did set me back because it's been a while since I hit a landmark. Since I hit a landmark. And that seems to be just how this game handles... Um, Autosaves. seems to be at every load screen and these some of the overworld load screens are pretty big I don't know for sure though um, think I'd learn. You'd think I'd just like point myself in a direction and be able to do it, but I have no sense of direction. And that is never going to happen. Oh, here's a easy one to grab. Um, I'm assuming there's a rock nearby. There's a rock. There is a rock. I want one. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's just like an abandoned little camp. They left their sword and their shield there. I can't carry any more shields. Do I have any shields that I don't care about? No. No. All the shields that I have are already better. Do I have any weapons that I don't care about? My god, yes. Drop that, and drop that, and... Yes, drop that. Hmm, there's a rock. God, I was looking for a rock. Uh, oh, here's one. Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, there's a bunch of different various types of Korok seeds that you can find all over the place. This is one of the puzzles. It's a little tedious, but it is what it is. I promise, I'm making progress at some point. See, we're going in the... wrong fucking direction. Well... 
Okay. That's nice. It's a good time. It's fine. It's fine. I have to go over that. Well, balls. This is fine. Uh, again, with swimming, if I sprint, I'm just gonna die. Do I even have stamina food right now? I don't think so. I think I ate it all. Oh, I do. Fascinating. Uh, yeah, stamina food is, like, a great way to make up for any shortcomings in your, in your stamina. Because you can just, like, get it back to full with a couple of stamina shrooms. They have to be cooked stamina shrooms, though. They can't just be raw. They have to be cooked. I hate cooking in this game. I really, really do. Like, it's just not fun. And then, like, food sells for unbelievably high prices sometimes. For no apparent reason. Like, I can have two dishes, and then, like, one has less hearts and no status effect... And it's worth, like, 300 more rupees than some other dish that I made that has, like, 10 plus hearts and some awesome effects. It's... It seems to be random. There doesn't actually seem to be a set price for anything. It's very, very bizarre. That being said... I might die. Cool. Forward. No, 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 no. Oh, that's the worst feeling in the world. I know there's apparently a way to exploit... Um... I think it's like, if you, like, rapidly tap B and X, then you can just exploit the stamina forever or something like that. I remember one of my old roommates found that when she got a Switch. And she found it pretty quickly, and it was just, like, immediately broken. Like, the world broke. Um... But I don't know what it was. And... Where's the button? Are we there yet? For the love of God. How have I managed to spend, like, two 40-minute episodes trying to find one memory that I've never had trouble finding before? This is ridiculous, even for me. God, if you guys throw rocks at me while I'm trying to climb this, I'm gonna fucking kill all of you. Yeah, it was something along those lines where you just sort of, like, you're able to kind of run for, like, a step or two and then recover a sliver of stamina and then use a bit of stamina to climb to the next point, which you can do that. Because I know you can do that, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of room to recover on some of these slopes. Um, if you're climbing, like, a sheer cliff or a tower, then yeah, you're gonna need the stamina, but when you're climbing mountains like this, you can typically find a foothold. One of the craziest things that I've ever seen is, uh, that rock climbers do is called a knee bar. And they just, like, they basically, like, prop their knee and their foot between two solid stones, and then they just hang upside down. Um, and it brings blood back into their fingers. So that they can, like, go back to climbing or whatever. But I just think it's really neat. Can you just imagine, like, just hanging there? By sheer will. Hey guys, guess what? We're finally fucking here! Thank god. Okay, so... If it's any consolation, this might be a two-in-one boss 
fight deficit. I was like, if I have to go back to Impa, I'm just gonna kill myself. Okay. Never joke about killing yourself. I do it because it's how I cope with my suicidal thoughts, but if you need help, please go get it. Just to anybody online who may need to hear it, there are professionals out there that can help you. I have severe PTSD from something of the likes, and I still get help, and it's freaking amazing. Anyways, let's enjoy this cutscene. It's in Japanese, I'm not gonna read it out loud though, I feel like it ruins it.目覚めなかったんだ。封印の力。ごめんなさい。お兄様。頑張ったんだろ。それでダメなら仕方ないよ。それにこの山での修行が全てってわけじゃないさ。案外何かのきっかけで封印の力を目覚めるかもしれない。ありがとう、ウルボザ。姫様あの、うまく言えないんだけど、私考えてみたの。私が知恵の力を使うとき、何を思ってるんだろうって。そしたら、それは…あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
and waited for us to go all the way up that mountain, pray for a full day, and then come back. These are the four most important people. These are the pilots of the Divine Beasts, which are the main defense that you have against the Calamity, which is coming. Why? Like, you know it's coming. You know that it's inevitable. Why are we all here? Me and Link, I would un or me and Zelda, I would understand. Maybe even oh, he sees me. Um, maybe even like Mifa, or maybe just Rivali, um, because they can travel the fastest. But like Gorons are not known for exceptionally fast travel. I know they have that rolling ability from Majora's Mask, and that travels pretty fast. But it just doesn't explain why he would be this far away, and especially Arbosa. Because none of the Gerudos seem to have any amount of, like, special powers or anything. They seem very human. So I don't know why the hell they were all right here just to wait for her to go pray. I get it was a big deal because it was her 17th birthday, so she was finally permitted to go to the Spring of Wisdom. Blah, blah, blah. Why are we all here when we know this is going to happen? Okay, so... I'm gonna kill this Lionel. I'm gonna take it all out on this Lionel. Lionels are actually kind of interesting. Um, they just stare at you. They're very, very territorial. Um, and they just stare at you, and if they stare- and if you stare back, they will approach you, and you'll notice now he's just watching me. He doesn't want me to get any closer. Um, he's a very territorial being. Um, as I'm fighting him, you will see he has the body of a giant horse the torso of a very large and muscular humanoid, and the head of a lion. Uh, this looks like a red main flannel? Yeah, that's a red main flannel. Right. Um, so yeah, now he's shouting at me. That seems like another warning to tell me to go away. And he's done playing the game. So, yeah. Lionels are pretty cool. And pretty freaking terrifying. As you can see. I might not even be able to have- a, I don't have any supplies. I don't have any fairies. I genuinely don't think I can do this. So maybe I won't take it out on the Lionel. Maybe I'll just go take it out on the Moppelkins that are in the opposite direction. I think I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I'll fight- I'll- go through. Um, there's one Lionel that you can actually kind of- you don't have to fight him for the storyline if you already have the shock arrows, but uh, I don't know. It's fun to fight them. Uh, once you actually have the hearts to support fighting them anyways. Um, Uh, so yeah, these are like massive ruins. I don't know what these are from. Because they were ruins in the flashback, too. So I don't know. I don't know. It, it seems like Hyrule is just a land of dead civilizations. Like, I don't think our civilization was the first one to fall. There's like evidence of ruins upon ruins upon ruins scattered throughout these lands. And... It just... So yeah, I'm gonna get the shrine, uh, and then I'm actually gonna go back to the cargo, and I'm gonna get, um, Impa has something to give me now that I've unlocked one of my, me one of my memories. So I'm gonna go pick that up. And then I think we'll call it an episode. It's already been a 45 minute episode, so... Whatever. I just don't understand why they were all here. Like, again, princess's birthday. Sure. But 
it just, it seems like a really stupid move, you know? Like, it really just does seem like a really stupid idea to have all of them in the same place at any given time. And what if Calamity Ganon had come up from there? You know, they didn't know where he was going to come up. They had no idea that they were going to be, that he was going to come out in the castle. They just knew that he was coming. So... Why were they all like, I don't, I don't get it. it. Seems like a very bad military plan. Actually, a lot of this uh, story from the past is a really bad military plan. Like, they didn't have a backup plan. They, they didn't prepare for nearly long enough. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me, man. I don't know. I just... It's, I like this game. I really do. I just... I feel like the story could have been a little bit better thought out. Uh, but yeah, I really I really enjoy this uh, getting to the shrine because of the way that you have to transverse these rooms. Um, like, there's no real explanation as to where these came from. They're obviously more than 100 years old. Like, a hundred years ain't that long. That's- that's the other thing that gets me, is like, everybody acts like a hundred years is freaking ages, but it's- it's not. Like, it's not a short amount of time, don't get me wrong, but... It- it just- this game doesn't know how time works. A hundred years is a really unbelievably long time, and ten thousand years is fucking nothing. That doesn't make any sense to me. It- really does make me angry. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I feel like the story could have used some room, some time in the end. And it only been better for it. But at the same time, they almost released this game, like, without a story and without a world. Um... So, you know, I'm kind of glad they didn't. Because uh, I remember the one E3, um, and they had, like, a demo version or something, and then, like, you could light stuff on fire, and that was about it. And they were saying that it was going to come out in, like, six months, and there was just, like, nothing in the world. And then it got delayed by, like, two and a half years or some crap like that. I don't know how exactly accurate any of this information is, um, but... I do. I've. I vaguely remember seeing like social media posts about that and everything. That, cause that that's where the like whole gag behind this link being a pyromaniac came from. Oh, I still have to do a freaking shrine. So let's fit in this shrine. I'm down, Noah. Okay, still have to do the shrine. Fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, I have remember how to do this. And you do get a lot of treasure chests. Oh. I mean, not like... They're not like the best of the best treasures, but... They're still... I do like his dive. I like that they added that in Twilight Princess. And then, um, in Skyward, I think they kept it in Skyward Sword. They may have died in Skyward Sword. I don't Maybe in that like first area, like that pond where you first get your sword. Or I know the forest gets flooded. I don't have a Wii, and I'm not gonna get a Wii just to play Skyward Sword. It's not a good game. It's not a good game, and it fucked the lore, and it just could have not fucked the lore. It could have just been a crappy game without having to take the rest of the lore with it. 
Ooh, a Zora sword. I love Zora swords. They are very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I'm just gonna show it off. I'm not gonna use it for a little bit, but. And it's kind of powerful, too. Like, it's not a terrible sword, but um, look how gorgeous it is. So pretty. Such a pretty sheath. Just, oof. So aesthetically pleasing. Love the Zoro weapons. 10 out of 10. I don't know what I'm doing this. Said the blind man. No, you don't, said the deaf woman by the telephone. Anyways. Oh, down. That, was... that was silly. That was silly Billy. Silly, silly Billy. This game gives me the ability to jump. I should use it. Oh, you freaking dingleberry. Like, I already solved the shrine. Just give me the frickin' thing. All I need to do is not be an idiot about it. For the love of God. Hideous, smile upon you. All right, so now I have five. Um, but yeah, I just like getting to that shrine. It's fun to get to. Um, it also like I remember the shrine making me cry because I had it on the Sheikah sensor, and I was so intent on using that stupid Sheikah sensor the first time I played this game, and it just gives me a sheer migraine. And I just got really frustrated, and I was in so much pain, and I started crying, and then I gave up. So yeah! It's always a fun time. Anyways, we're gonna wrap this up with one more thing. Just to- just to- just to make it clear that progress is being made in this episode. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> Because no progress was really made in the last episode. I talked to a couple of people, and then I wandered around, and then I accidentally but I accidentally did my way into a shrine. I love how mossy this shrine is, too. Because it's just, like, been here forever. Like, you know, supposedly 10,000 freaking years. I love that his shield just like glues itself to his feet every time he chooses to bear blood. Whoa! Now that you've seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Hell yeah! This is something of yours that I've been keeping safe by request of the princess. It smells like mothballs. This clothing was especially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Um, so the whole idea behind this tunic is that it's virtually indestructible. Um, put my helium pants back on so that you can actually, like, see. Um, yeah, so now I'm, now I'm Link of the Wild. Um,. There's also the Wilds tunic that you get after you complete all 120 shrines. It looks like crap uh, compared to a lot of the other ones. And it makes me angry. But this allows me to see the exact number of HP that all of my enemies have. Um, which is... Except for bosses. Which is nifty. It's very nifty. I want a heart container. Yes, please. I shall grant you the power you seek. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, so there's other goddess shrines, like, all over the place in this world. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum heart number. Now I have five hearts. Now I'll only get one-shotted by most things instead of everything. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Uh, so yeah, there's goddess shrines, like, all over the place here. It's a good time. Um... And they're like, they're just all over the world, and all of them are kind of like ancient and decrepit. And like, this one has a bib for some reason. I don't know why this one has a bib. Um, something, something Japanese culture, I'm sure, but I, I don't know why. Anyways, this has been a rather long episode of me getting lost for uh, way too long for a second time in a row. But I guess that's what I signed up for. So here we go. It's actually kind of fun to play it on this format instead, because I'm actually paying closer attention to the story and everything. Um, so yeah. Uh, stay safe and sane, guys. I will see you all around. And I hope this audio quality works out a little bit better. I know it sounded a little bit less echoey, which was super awesome. So yeah. I love you guys lots, and I'll see you next time.